Hi everyone, welcome on board. Welcome to Cat King. So finally, you have a good news. I think I hope it's good news for most of the students. Your ZAT results, your official scorecards have now come out on the ZAT website. It's been lingering around online since evenings, people sharing links and all of those updates. Well, it's officially out. All you need to do is log in. Once you go on to ZAT official website, here you can see zatonline.in. The scorecards are live now. The update is there. Just click on the scorecard tab right next to it. Once you click on the scorecard tab, it's going to ask you to enter your details. Okay. So you have to punch in your ZAT ID. Just enter your ZAT ID out here. Once you enter in your ZAT ID and your date of birth, please make sure you enter your CAPTCHA details really well. Okay. Re enter that. It's going to be taking quick seconds. I know a lot of people are facing issues with the server error also coming in. So be ready for that. Okay. Once you log in, you will be able to see your personal details, your scorecard right next to it. Click here to download the scorecard. Once you click here, it's automatically going to download your scorecard and you can check your complete scorecard. All right. So these are the quick steps you need to follow to check your ZAT scorecard. And now that you have your scorecard, your overall percentile in hand, you would realize and know which colleges you can still apply into, whether you can expect a call from XLRI, XIMB, which are by default colleges which you select in when you are applying for ZAT exam. The cutoffs for ZAT, if you remember, we had done a video earlier as well. The cutoffs vary with multiple categories. Like if you remember, XLRI has business management program where the cutoff usually is around 94 percentile for male candidates and 92 percentile for female candidates. The HRM program has bifurcations further for engineers and non-engineers. So it's somewhere around 87 to 93 percentile range based on the classifications, right? And based on the same, you can also actually check out and apply to a lot of other colleges which are accepting ZAT scores. In fact, some of the applications are still open right now. You can apply into MyCAT to give for MyCA College. Direct deadline has extended till 18th of Jan. IMT Ghaziabad has reopened the forms. So you can apply for IMT Ghaziabad. Great Lakes Chennai, you can apply to the college. I think the applications are still open. You can check it out on their website. Goa Institute of Management, Wellinger College. Wellinger has two campuses, Mumbai as well as uh, Bangalore. So you can open up and apply to these colleges. IMI also has reopened the forms recently. The Delhi, I'm not sure, is accepting that this year, but Kolkata is for sure accepting. So there are a lot of colleges and options open based on your ZAD scores for you to apply. Please make sure you check out your scores. Keep your scorecards handy and don't miss out on attending tonight's YouTube live session where we'll have a detailed understanding on the complete analysis of score versus percentile and the colleges you need to apply and the strategy further ahead for your interview preparation for XLRI and all the other colleges with Rahul sir. So stay tuned to the channel and all the best. I have put the link in the description for you to download your scorecards as well so you can go and download from there directly. Bye-bye. Take care.